Hey guys, it's Steven here. Today, I'm going to be discussing the Thetford Porta Potty 345. The opinions in this review are that of my own. The main factors I look at when reviewing a product is popularity, quality, price, durability, and lastly, verified by a review. If you want to check out the price of this product, you can view it in the links in the description. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more reviews and content. And now that's out of the way, let's get started with the video. When you first look at the Thetford 345 portable toilet, it looks very small. In actuality, it's not that small in my opinion. The toilet measures at around 15.4 inches by 17.1 inches by 13.3 inches. If you open the lid of this toilet, you'll see a toilet seat that is narrow in the front and wide in the back. The toilet measures at 10 inches wide in the front and 13 inches wide in the back. You will also notice the bowl is quite deep. On the front left bottom of the toilet is the indicator light for the waste tank. There is also a button on the left hand side of the top of the toilet. This button is to flush the toilet when it is filled with water. The flusher of the toilet is a piston with a billow pump. On the right hand side is the cap where you fill the fresh water tank. The fresh water tank holds 4 gallons of water. The waste tank holds 3.2 gallons of waste. And finally, when the toilet is completely empty of water, it weighs about 10 pounds. How the Thetford 345 Porta Potty works. Before you use the Thetford 345 Porta Potty, there's a couple things you need to know. You need to unscrew the cap on the right side on top of the toilet's right. This is located behind the toilet seat. Once this is done, you need to fill the tank with clean water. Once that's done, it's time to replace the cap. After you finish using the toilet, push the button on the left hand side located on the top. You're going to have to press it several times to add water to the bowl. There is a large gray handle at the bottom front of the toilet. Pull the handle out to allow water to flow through into the waste tank. Once this is finished, pull the handle back in. Repeat the process each time you use the portable toilet until it's time to empty the waste tank. Once you complete the steps mentioned, you'll be familiar on how to use this portable toilet. On the left of the waste tank is a spout that you need to turn away from the waste tank. Turn the waste tank so that the spout is pointing down at the waste receptacle. Hold down the button at the back when emptying the tank. Once the tank is emptied, add some clean water into the waste tank through the spout. Close the spout and swish the water around and then empty the waste tank again. Repeat this process until the water comes out of the waste tank clear. If you're looking for cleaning chemicals to use, Thetford has a couple of options to look at. The chemicals they offer are for both the waste and the freshwater tank. You can use other competitors cleaning products as well for this process. Thetford 345 Reviews The reviews for the Thetford Porta Potty 345 Portable Toilet are extremely good. The vast majority of users feel that the toilet meets their needs. Several users have had the older versions of this model for many years and later replacing them with the newer version. Pros Good size waste storage tank Easy to clean Deep bowl Well built Doesn't take up a lot of space Don't have to empty the waste every day no waste bags to have to buy. Cons. Some of these toilets leak. Sits very low to the ground, 4 inches lower than your home toilet. Can be messy to dump. People with knee joint problems may find this toilet sits too low to be comfortable or useful. Additional tips. Instead of purchasing expensive chemicals for the waste tank, try baking soda. Some people find the smell of the chemicals very unpleasant. Baking soda can help eliminate odors without chemical smell. Also, keep a gallon of water next to the porta potty to rinse the bowl of the toilet, since the flusher only fills the pipe where the waste goes. Also, rinse out the bowl after you open the handle to the waste tank. To keep the porta potty sanitary, wipe it down with disinfectant wipes every few uses. Also, consider keeping your toilet paper separate and placing it in a garbage bag. This will allow you to use regular toilet paper instead of the more expensive quick degrading paper. It also prevents the waste tank from filling up too fast. You may want to build a platform to raise your toilet to a more comfortable height. Verdict. The Thetford 345 Porta Potty appears to be a well designed and well made portable toilet. The toilet is quite durable and is small enough to transport easily. It also appears to be large enough to accommodate most adults. However, there's no posted user weight limits for the product. This can obviously be a safety concern if you're larger. However, some users who use the toilet weighed over 200 pounds. Finally, this portable toilet currently gets 5 star reviews from more than 3 fourths of the users. Complaints on this toilet are few and far between. Although this portable toilet is quite expensive, it may well be worth the money. So my final verdict on this is a yay. If you're looking for a compact, durable toilet, get the Thetford Portable Toilet. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and visit our website.